If you are planning on working on the interior of your Mercedes, a good tool to own is the Mercedes 1405890233300 tool, which you can find by following the link at the end of this video. While you can make your own, this tool is indispensable for removing vents, ducts, gauge clusters, etc. If you would like to make your own tool, take a piece of sturdy metal at least 6 inches long and bend one of the ends 90 degrees, leaving approximately 5 millimeters on the bent end. You're going to need to pull pretty hard on the tool, so make sure some sort of handle is on the other end. Side vents. There are two slots at the bottom of both side vents, red arrows. Insert the tool and turn it 90 degrees so it sits in the slot at the bottom of the vent. Make sure both tools are properly seated and then pull back and up, red arrows. It's important that the tools are properly seated or you can really scratch up the vents if the tools slip. Once the clips on the vent release, you can remove it with your hands and then turn it over and disconnect the wiring connection. The procedures are the same for both sides, with the exception being you need to pull the gauge cluster trim piece forward on the driver's side. Please see the link at the end of this video for an article on gauge cluster removal for additional assistance. When installing the vent in place, place it in a downward angle so the bottom clip seat last, as indicated by the red arrow. The side vents can be difficult to seat sometimes, so a trick is to pop off the side panel and help guide them into place by hand. Use a trim removal tool and gently pry away the side panel from the end of the dash, as indicated by the red arrow. With the clips released, pull the panel forward and away from the dash. You can now reach your hand in behind and help guide the vent into place. Center vents. There are two access holes for the tool on the top of the center vent, as indicated by the red arrows. On some models, these will be covered with small rubber plugs. Just remove them. Insert your tool into the access holes and turn them 90 degrees so they are facing downward. Red arrow. With both tools securely seated, pull back and slightly up. Again, it's important the tools are properly seated before pulling or you can really damage the vent. Once the vents release past the clips, you can remove it by hand. Turn the vent over and release the two tabs on the electrical connections, red arrows. Remember when installing to run the wiring connection down through the top of the vent housing. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.